right? So you've got all these emails coming in, you've been in all these meetings, you've got all these Teams chats. I know I, the job that I do is working across a lot of different things. I'm in and out of this document or that project or this proposal or whatever. I'm working across a really big breadth of things. And that very real challenge of, oh, hey, Lisa, can you help us out with this? And I need to get across what's going on quickly or things have progressed and I've been on some other kind of workshop or whatever for a day and I need to catch up. That's a scenario that you know many of us would face. So first of all, inside a chat. So now there's a chat that's gone on. Let's say I've been out doing something else for the day and there's you know dozens and dozens of messages in this chat thread. Summarize what I've missed. Thank you very much, Copilot, because I don't necessarily, if you're in a conversation thread and participating in it, awesome. If you come back after the fact, that's really tedious and kind of hard to track back through. So there we go. There's the summary. Awesome. Thank you very much. Next up, in the bottom of my chat, I can bring in Copilot and ask it to do something else for me. So create a status update of this from email conversations this week. Just not not from the Teams chat, from the from email, right? This is this is this stuff with the graph, it's all one platform. So I'm in Teams, here's a chat about something, but what's going on in email? And it can actually go through and find the relevant email conversations, give me the status update with the references and the links to where it's got all of that information from. I'm a little bit speechless, to be honest. As I said at the start, this is this is I've taken a little while to digest this. So it's actually gone and found all of that. All of these scenarios here of just you don't have to go back and find all that information manually and miss something. It's bringing it in. Again, you're in control. I'm going to click insert and choose to use that or edit it or change it. I can view those references and make sure that it's all okay as well.